On today's ride, I go for a walk. I get ready to do some greasing. A monk chops down a tree. And I take a ride around a rather unusual airport. Today's ride should take me into my Hong Song all being well. This is going to be the hardest ride in many ways because it's got the most elevation with 1,380 metres. I've never climbed above 1,000 metres before I started this trip, so yeah, it's going to be a challenge. This morning I've come across something I really wasn't expecting and that's a broken surface. The gradients have been up to 15% which has made it really tough going. What a great little roadside market. Well, I've finally been defeated. I'm walking. Uh, I'd like to say it's the surface that defeated me. But quite honestly, I think it's the gradient. <laughs> this is about 18%. That's too much. I can't do it. <laughs> Wow, this is steep. I'm in the first valley of the day. It's just nice to be on the flat. 10 o'clock, I'm absolutely bathed in sweat. The elevation's uh, difficult as it is, but the gradients, oh dear me, 15 to 20 percent for some of those climbs. Twice I had to get off and push. Uh, it just makes it very difficult. I knew it was coming, but there we go. I think this is a government rest stop up ahead. Frankly, complete waste of time. They've got a toilet and that's it. No refreshments at all. What's the point? Bloody useless. There we go, another deserted government rest stop that nobody ever uses. Plate waste of money. When you're cycling through the forest, you frequently hear that cutting noise everywhere you go. People working, chopping things down. Like the natural soundtrack of the forest. Just had a sit down at the side of the road and had a highly nutritious lunch, one banana and a bag of crisps. That's all I had and a very warm bottle of water. Last big climb of the day coming up. Let's get on with it. This is Pang Maha viewpoint. This is the same viewpoint just a bit further along and you do get a better view here because the trees don't obscure it. The descents here they're a real challenge you, you have to keep your wits about you they're so twisty so long so steep I keep having to stop halfway down just to have a rest because my hands they get so tired you're constantly on the brakes. It, it, it's tough. It's easy to get this wrong uh, and you really have to keep your wits about you and make sure you don't come a cropper. So I'm gonna have another minute's rest and then get back uh, onto it and down this mountain. This is my fourth puncture of the trip. Getting a bit annoying. It, it's gone at the seams again. They just don't seem to be able to cope with the heat. 
Don't know what I can do. Anyone got any suggestions or ideas of tubes that are great in extremes of heat, let me know. Get this one uh, patched up and get on my way. Unfortunately, my pump stopped working. Uh, I've took it apart. I'm going to re-grease the barrel. Hopefully that'll fix it. Otherwise, I'm going to be stuck here on the roadside because it's just not working at all. I've got a little bag of grease here for this very kind of problem. Hopefully that'll be okay. First I'm cleaning out the barrel with an old rag and a toothbrush. You can see there, put a bit of grease on the washer. That's one problem over with. That's working like new. We're all fixed now, but unfortunately the retaining pin on the brake pads broke as well. So I've just had to pull it out. Um, hopefully that'll be enough, but I'll get some new brake pads when I get into my own song. That's a pain. That's took a lot longer than I'd have liked. And in the meantime, the heavens have opened up. So I'm going to shelter here until it stops raining. This is Pankton's Royal Project Development Centre. Looks like it's been built into the cliff there. The previous king, he was very active with royal projects working with the farmers in the agricultural sector in northern Thailand. In fact he's credited with getting the farmers away from growing opium which was very common 30-40 years ago. This coffee shop looks like it's part of the uh, royal project so I can't really give this up. I'm gonna have to stop and get myself a coffee here. Finally made it to my own song. Ten hours, only 65 kilometres, 1,400 metres of climbing. Boy, am I tired! Hey guys, I'm in the hotel room in Mae Hong Song, uh, B2 Premier again. Show you around a bit later. So, what I wanted to talk about today is what happened to me about three or four days ago when I was riding with thick forests either side of me I got bitten a few times by flies and it's a bit disgusting but I've actually got lava embedded in the skin and uh, crawling around it's happened to me before and in fact uh, it happened to my youngest son Dominic when he first came to Thailand and he was a bit freaked out about it um, a, a nice sort of going away present for his uh, last day but there's a simple solution to it and that is taking these things here. You can just uh, get them about anywhere. You can get them from 7-Eleven even. They're 20, 25 baht, which is about 60, 70, 80 cents, something like that. It, it's quite easy to confuse these bikes um, with those from a Mosquito because it feels quite similar and itchy. But Mosquito bike itches usually go away in a few hours, even a day or so. But these just persist and persist because basically what's happening is that the lava keeps burrowing into your skin and eventually you, you, you get like um, track marks, track marks as they go round and round. Um, so if the 
itch does actually persist after one or two days the likelihood is uh, one of these flies has got you and uh, one of these pests inside you which is a bit gross really so yeah take yourself one of these tablets available at any pharmacy or 7-eleven that should sort you out so I'm going to do that now and hopefully I'll be okay by tomorrow <laughs> they work really quickly this is the main street of Mae Hong Song nothing remarkable but what's rather unbelievable is if I turn left here which I'm now going to do the airport is only 100 meters to the right behind these houses how cool is that I've got to go and take a look Okay, sure enough, this is the perimeter fence for the airport. The end of the runway is just behind that bank. I don't know of any other airport that's so close to the town or city centre. If there is one, let me know. This is just incredible. 400 metres from the main road. And you can see the terminal building with the mountains as a backdrop. I've cycled to the far end of the perimeter fence, which is just two kilometers. That means straight on two kilometers, it's the high street. Fantastic. You've even got a temple on the hill, all the mountains in the background. Ah. Fantastic, fantastic. Here we are at the main terminal building. Now, straight out of the airport. Back into town. Mae Hong Song's a quiet, pleasant little town. It's got a nice feel in a different way to Pai. You can see there's a reliance on tourism here, but nowhere near to the same extent as Pai. Some of the places here, like Pai though, they're closed. Uh, which is a, that's a shame, it really is. Yeah, very compact, pleasant, little town. I'd say probably more authentic in uh, Tainous than uh, Pi. People from Pi probably slate me for that, but I think it's true. If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave a like. It all helps me out tons. Thank you very much. Enjoy your bikes, enjoy your rides and I'll see you in the next video.